getting started with your profile semi-automatic espresso. Attach the drip tray prior to powering on the machine. Remove the water tank and the orange seal from the bottom of the tank and fill it with water. Gently press down on the water tank so it is secure in the machine before using any functions. Place the hopper into the unit by aligning the arrow with the unit. Turn the hopper clockwise to lock in place. Turn the hopper to your desired grind size. Then run the machine five times to calibrate the grinder. After calibrating, set the grind size between 7 and 10. Using whole coffee beans instead of pre-ground coffee is recommended. Choose your desired setting and enjoy. Using your espresso machine. Make sure you have a coffee cup or container under the dispenser before using the single or double function. Push either the single shot or double shot filter into the porta filter until it clicks into place. Make sure there are coffee beans in the bean hopper. Place the porta filter within the grinder cradle. Press the grind button one time for a single. Quickly press the grind button twice for a double. When grinding is complete, remove the porta filter and gently tap to even out the coffee grounds. Tamp down firmly using the tamper. Clear away any excess grounds from the rim of the porta filter. Tamping clears out air pockets to avoid water channeling through the grounds. Place the porta filter with pressed coffee puck into the group head at a 45 degree angle and rotate it to the right until it locks into place. Press the single or double button to begin brewing. When brewing is complete, dispose of coffee grounds, rinse the porta filter, then dry. After every single or double cycle, your machine will cool down by slowly releasing excess water into the drip tray. Do not remove the drip tray until the process is complete. There may also be excess hot water in the porta filter. Be cautious when disposing of grounds. The steam function can be used to steam milk and other liquids. Please caution, to avoid possible burns, do not touch any liquids or the steam wand during or after steaming. Do not remove the pitcher until steaming is complete. Always hold the milk pitcher by the handle. Make sure the control knob is always in the neutral position when not using the steam and hot water functions. The steam wand swivels for easier use. Do not pull on the steam wand. Turn the control knob on the side of the espresso machine to steam. Make sure the steam wand is pointed towards the drip tray as it will clear out some water during preheating. Once steam starts to come out, switch the knob to the off position and quickly insert the wand into the milk. Continue the steaming process by turning the control knob back to steam. If there is a delay longer than a few seconds between heating and steaming, the heating will shut off and need to be repeated. Turn the control knob back to off when complete. Use a hot, wet cloth to wipe off the steam wand after every use. It is also recommended to purge the steam wand after every use by quickly turning the steam back on for a short time. After every steam cycle, your machine will automatically release internal pressure by slowly pumping excess water and steam into the drip tray. Steam coming out of the drip tray is normal during this process. Do not remove the drip tray until the process is complete. If using the hot water function after steaming, allow the machine to dispense excess steam before using. Hot water volume and temperature can be adjusted via the Smart HQ app. Place your desired cup or the milk pitcher provided under the steam wand. Turn the control knob on the side of the espresso machine to hot water. Fill your cup to your desired amount. If the dispense is not stopped manually by the user, the machine will continue to dispense until a programmed volume is set. Turn the control knob back to off when complete. 
Cleaning your profile semi-automatic espresso machine. Unplug your espresso machine from the wall. Pour out all leftover water in the tank and drip tray. Wash and dry the water tank and drip tray by hand only. Do not place any part of the espresso machine in the dishwasher. Wipe down the machine using a non-scratch cloth and non-abrasive cleaner. Do not use any cleaning agents not provided with the product or recommended in the manual. It is recommended that you descale once a month or more depending on the water hardness. The descale process consists of two stages. The descale alert will turn off after the second stage is completed. The whole process should last approximately 30 minutes. Fill a third of the water tank with water. Add cleaning solution and mix well. You can use a one-to-one -one ratio of water and white vinegar as an alternative cleaning solution. Place a large container under the brew head and steam wand. Press the program button to enter edit mode. Grind, single, and double will flash. Rotate the control knob to steam. Water will now dispense into the container. After all the water has dispensed, check knob will illuminate. Rotate the control knob to the off position. Remove the water tank. Rinse and fully refill before reinstalling. Rotate the control knob to steam. Water will dispense into the container again. After all the water has dispensed, check knob will illuminate. Rotate the control knob to the off position. The descale alert will now turn off. Refill the water tank. The espresso machine is now ready for normal operation. Place a cup or container under the grinder to collect loose grounds of coffee. It's recommended that you clean the grinder at least once a week. Remove the bean hopper from the espresso machine. Rotate to unlock and pull out the outer burr. Use the brush provided to wipe away any grounds from the grinder. Make sure to clean the grinder from the top and bottom of the grinder chute. Do not use your hands to wipe away grounds. Place the outer burr back into the machine. Put the hopper back into place. To clean the steam wand, remove the tip by unscrewing. Use the needle provided to clear the tip of any debris. Empty the porta filter and filters of any coffee grounds and then rinse with water. Allow the porta filter and filters to dry completely before using again. If you are storing your espresso machine for a long period of time, you should empty the system of all water. Empty the water tank. Press and hold the program and double buttons together for three seconds to put the machine into system emptying mode. Water will empty into the drip tray. The machine will return to idle when the cycle is complete. A water hardness test kit is included with your Profile Espresso machine. Please follow the instructions on the package using the water you plan to use to make espresso. Once you have gathered your results, please refer to the Smart HQ app to set your water hardness level.